Howdy guys. Today I'm going to try to show you how easy it is to make a little training map or just something to mess around with um, when you know you want to just practice um, using the virtual reality editor. I haven't seen a lot of videos um, explaining how to do this and it's it's really pretty easy uh, and I think you can have a lot of fun with it. I've, I've barely even you know explored the uh, possibilities with this but I'm sure there's going to be missions people make you know coming up pretty soon uh, people will probably be posting these things on the uh, steam workshop and everything like that but um, it's really very simple and if you just want to play around and uh, get familiar with the editor it's a it's a great way to do so so in the in the uh, newest version you'll see that they have added virtual reality to one of the map options so we're going to go in there and this thing is massive um, it looks it's impossible to get a sense of scale because it's all just a uniform map but um, let's go down in the corner here and to start you're going to want to double click and I'm going to place a blue four um, recon marksman. Um, a quick tip is if you shift click on a unit you can rotate their view and that will help especially with enemy units but also you know when you want to just place uh, your player and have it you know facing in a certain direction when you start. So then just to get an idea of the scale I'm gonna drop in a uh, an ammo crate So, you know, it looks like it's right next to the guy, especially if you zoom out a little bit. But if you zoom in and, and start to see the real scale of it, you can see how big this map is. So we'll move that over. Um, now we're going to talk about the virtual reality objects. Um, the first ones are, I'm going to double, double click again, go down to Structures Virtual Reality. And these are the big ones here um, these bottom five so we'll start with the smallest one I think they're in order like that but um, and I'm just gonna drop in each of these so you can see what they look like and these these you're gonna use as as buildings basically like their building size um, units So there you can see now one cool thing about these is if they're intersecting they just kind of look like a you know one building so let's put a put a few of these together um, the seams don't even show up whereas a lot of other objects and things in the game might be glitchy or flickering or something like that but these you know they hold up pretty well <coughs> and it gives you a nice like a, a sense that it's a, like a real building you get these little corners to hide around things like that um, so you can obviously you know make a town pretty easily you select multiple units by clicking and dragging and then once the tag shows up you can control C control V and boom you got you know you're already on your way to like a little bit of a a little bit of a uh, a small deathmatch scene So that's pretty cool. Now I'm going to show you how to place enemy units because obviously it's no fun running around by yourself. So let's drop a guy in here. We're going to go to blue or op four, and we'll just put in a rifleman. Um, and of course you you know you can make him looking around uh, wherever you want. Um, these you can also you know highlight 
control C, control V. Um, hovering over and hitting the delete key deletes them. And if you have several of them, you can select them and hit shift delete to delete all of them. Um, so we put that guy in. Now, if they're just kind of standing there, it can be a little bit boring um, and feel like you're just going through like a shooting shooting gallery. So I'm going to select this guy and I'm going to click these feet over here. And I'm going to double click out here and this is going to insert a waypoint. I really haven't played around with this too much, but for these basic purposes, I think this is the only thing that you're really going to need. It's select type move, which will be the default. Um, and you'll see, you know, it shows where he's to move to. With this icon selected, you can, you know, adjust that as necessary. We're going to have this guy just kind of do a, uh, a loop around here. And I mean, that right there is, if you had a couple of these, let's just, um, let's actually, yeah, go back to this, control C, control V. So we're going to have two guys kind of sweep through here. You know, this this is almost enough to just spend some time with and um, practice your skills because these guys are going to be on the move here. See, here comes one. That was some some poor gameplay, but you get the idea. You know, you can also have a team. Uh, you can work with a team. You can put an in put in an enemy team too with this group. Double click. Op for let's do a rifle squad. Now, in addition to the um, in addition to the big objects, there's also little cover objects. So let's let's get a little further away from here so these guys can't see us. Um, we're gonna build something over here. Whoops, come on, waypoints. Go back to single units. Empty virtual reality and in, these are the cover objects here so let's let's drop in these they all take up the same or they all have the same footprint um, but they're just different heights um, and you can use these to make walls which I'll show you here we'll take this the stand and copy and paste it drag it together, you can have them overlap, copy paste, select them all, copy paste, so there's a, a really quick and dirty wall there, um, I guess these are pretty spread out, let's move them closer. We'll take a look at those. So here's our here's our wall for cover, and these other guys. Um, in addition to just these objects, you can of course place in, you know, vehicles. You're going to want to put in the vehicles through empty, so that you can you can drive them. But let's put in a Pawnee, um, just to show. Um, and then maybe maybe over here we'll put in something we can blow up. Um, let's put in some cars. Just splash down a few there. So as you can see, that's pretty easy to put in. Um, you know, you can put in all the vehicles. You can put in the the tanks and some of some of the um, 
you know, uh, some of the military outpost uh, things like a bunker, all of these things. I mean, play around with whatever you want to try out. Um, another fun thing is you can put in some sounds. So, like, um, there's not a ton, but let's put in a battlefield firefight over here. So when we go in, it'll sound like we're in a war zone. If you drop in a few, it definitely sounds like you're, you know, in the thick of it. So that's pretty much it. You guys can do a lot with this, um, and hopefully you learn something, and we'll have fun messing around in the editor. Enjoy.